Hello, beautiful, brave soul. I've been wanting to share this with you for uh, nearly a week or maybe a little bit longer than that. And when a client of mine, a longtime client of mine, and I connected for a real short conversation just to touch base and tap into her energies and whatnot for her chakra energy realignment healing session. She said something that really resonated with me in a way that I wanted to share this. And she said, now she's been going through a major, I mean, wow, major transition and transformation. Her eating habits are off, meaning she doesn't really want to eat. And she was really concerned about some of the things that she was feeling. And what we talked about was her old self was indeed dying and creating space or she was moving into the space of her new self. Aren't y'all tired of adding a chapter to that book that just kind of weighs you down? Well, at the beginning of the year, I decided that I wasn't going to add a new chapter or start a new chapter. I'm starting a new book and I'm adding to that one and it'll finish when I'm finished with it and then I'll start another. So getting back to this about and with my client about a week ago, I think it was a week ago Wednesday, it seems like a long time ago now. And she says, you know, Terry Maria, I've really been trying to leave my third dimension self behind so that I can live more in the fourth and fifth dimensions. Well, in theory, that sounds pretty good. Except that your physical self is your third dimension. So how about bringing your third dimension human physical self into fourth dimension realities and energies, frequency and vibration. And when you calibrate yourself, yourselves, into that vibration, then bring your third and fourth dimensional self, selves, <laughs> into fifth dimension reality, energies, frequency, and vibration. When we first start on our spiritual path or shortly thereafter, we learn, we hear, we're taught to let go and let, leave everything behind. Well, letting go is letting go of the emotional attachment, the hurt, the anger, the forgiveness, all of those things that are not of light and love. Sounds a little woo-woo, and yet there it is. How about turning around to embrace those lessons, those experiences, because they helped bring you to where you are now? So instead of trying to forget everything, instead of trying to leave you behind because you can't do it, bring you with you. That doesn't mean you're going to attract more of the same junkalitis, junky BS stuff that you were involved with or experienced or were a part of. Hello, Brenda Sue. Yes, it's really a good day. Thank you. So instead of trying to forget and pretend things never happened or get them out of your mind, how about making peace with you, your former self, and bring him or her with you into your now? Because without that person, you wouldn't be here Vibrationally, physically, what you're doing, what you're no longer doing, how you are speaking to yourself or no longer speaking to yourself. The third dimension, as long as your physical body is here, you are not going to ascend or leave behind the third dimension completely. Fourth and fifth dimension, I have not really explored how to explain those yet. 
And yet what I'm able or capable of <laughs> allowed to share with you is that it's possible to ascend vibrationally and your energetic frequency and still maintain physical presence. I know that's kind of like, what? Think about it. Hey, Rena. Think about it for a second because, or a minute or a couple minutes, really. When you attempt to see, there's a difference between letting go and detaching from the outcome and pretending things never happened. When we try to pretend things never happened, what do they do? They're kind of like in your face. It's like telling the conscious mind to shh, be quiet. It's not going to. It's like that little child. There was a commercial that ran for a little while. It was like, oh my goodness, it was so annoying. Mom, 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 mom. Yes. Hi. And like, oh. so just acknowledge. I call mine Charlie. Acknowledge your Charlie, your Angela, your whomever you choose to go. I give mine a name because it's easier than saying, hey, conscious mind. Hey, monkey mind. Or ego chitter chatter. I say, hey, Charlie, thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Got it. Charlie, go into the corner, time out, face the wall, and don't come out till I tell you <laughs> when he gets annoying. When you attempt to pretend nothing bad ever happened because we're supposed to forgive and forget, forgive and forget, forgive and forget, how about forgive and remember the lesson? How about forgive and free you from the emotional prison the emotional exchange of all that hurt in whatever form it showed up. Forgiveness helps the other person, yes. Mostly it helps you. Which brings me to another, I thought this was going to be really short, but apparently not. So this morning I received a, a private message in my Instagram from a guy who's having some kind of troubles with the mother of his child, and I suggested that he do some forgiveness. Oh, I can't do that because she did la, 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 and I went, okay. So I explained what forgiveness was really quick because he's not a client of mine, and yet I wanted to honor that he reached out. And forgiveness is something that I share about frequently here and there. He was not able to grasp that forgiving the act or because forgiveness is not saying I like what you did it was okay give me more please forgiveness is really freeing you from all the negativity that is attached to the thing the person the experience the situation whatever when you do the forgiveness work you free you your energy, your manifestation, your intuitive gifts, your abundance flow, or don't. The choice is totally yours. So we started off talking about the third dimension, and now we're talking about forgiveness. So forgive you for your parts in anything. Forgive you for trying to lose you while you're still in your physical form. That's kind of cool. Uh, and the two angels that just came in, uh, Angel Balthiel, B-A-L-T-H-I-E-L, -E the angel of forgiveness, or one of many, and then Archangel Metatron. Chakra Balance, Akashic Records, Ancient Wisdom, Book of Life, Forgiveness. Bring your third dimensional human self with you. Bring her or him with you into those higher vibrations, into those higher frequencies, and you will actually have more freedom here in this physical realm. All right, y'all. Until next time. <laughs> Have an amazing rest of your day or evening, and we will connect again soon.